Now there is a stern warning from one of the nation's top disease experts. Going to an indoor bar is one of the riskiest things you can do right now. NBC 15's Corey Pippen is live in downtown Mobile tonight where health safety concerns prompted a local bar owner to take action, Corey. Greg Kim, the owner of Bebob's and Flipside Bars downtown, says no employees have tested positive for COVID-19, but he doesn't feel safe opening either one unless customers wear masks and follow health safety guidelines. It's very tough because, like I said, we were closed for nine weeks and then open for a few weeks and now we've been closed since Saturday. A decision Jerry Allen says to protect his customers and employees from the surging spread of coronavirus. Once people are out socializing, they want to go to the next table and talk to some of their friends over there and then the other people want to go to the next table and, and then all of a sudden everybody's together again and it's very difficult as a business owner to separate them. Even more concerning, Aylin says, since most bar customers are not wearing masks. Something seen clearly last weekend in this video from a concert at Live Bait in Orange Beach. In a bar, it's usually standing, people are talking, people are mingling and walking around very close to each other in close quarters. So it's very hard to keep social distancing in a small bar. States like Florida, California and Texas have already ordered bars to close again, prompting protests from owners and employees. But one of the nation's top infectious disease experts says it's the right call. A congregation at a bar inside is bad news. We really got to stop that right now when you have areas that are surging like we see right now. Aylin says he hopes to reopen on Friday thanks to Mobile's mandatory mask ordinance, but we'll be getting input from other bar owners downtown. We've been through the first patch, but we can go a little bit longer if we have to just to make sure people are safe. Dr. Fauci told lawmakers if the current trend does not change, he wouldn't be surprised if new cases rise to 100,000 a day. Reporting live downtown, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.